A battle over policy leads to a war of words between the governor and lieutenant governor. I will not step back from this. And I might be the last guy standing, but I'll be the last guy standing. How differences over tax relief are dividing the state's top leaders. Cutting your property taxes with the largest property tax cut in the history of the state of Texas. We dig into the competing plans, who benefits from each idea. Two of the biggest names in Texas law join the team prosecuting Ken Paxton. The people of the state of Texas are entitled to know whether their top cop is a crook. What we're learning about the impeachment plan and the high-powered lawyers tapped to lead the prosecution. From public safety to medical bills to protecting your pets, our investigations helped lead to action at the Capitol. We'll look at the impact on Texas law. Produced from the Capitol in Austin and airing statewide, this is the award-winning State of Texas. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Josh Hinkle. The final hours of the regular legislative session brought a behind the scenes battle over different visions for property tax relief. House lawmakers have backed plans to tighten the cap on how much property values can rise each year, while the Senate is pushing a plan to raise the amount of a home's value that's exempt from property taxes. Lawmakers could not reach a deal as they ran out of time on the regular session, so hours after the final gavel, Governor Greg Abbott immediately ordered lawmakers back to the Capitol for a special session on property taxes and border security. The first day of the special session brought big developments. House lawmakers passed a property tax plan, then left, less than 24 hours after Governor Abbott called them back. The move sets the stage for a showdown with the Senate. On Tuesday, senators passed SB1, that chamber's property tax plan. It includes plans to expand the state's homestead exemption, which is the amount of a home's value that's exempt from property taxes. That's a priority of Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, but it goes against the special session call defined by Governor Abbott. The governor's call is expressly limited to cutting property taxes solely by reducing the school district maximum compressed tax rate. SB1 and SJ SJR1 are not germane to the governor's call. After the Senate's action, House members passed their own versions of property tax relief and border security legislation, and then the chamber took up a motion to adjourn sine die. The chair recognizes Mr. Guerin to explain the resolution. I think it explained itself. I move passage. Afterwards, Speaker Phelan issued a statement saying the House did its part to strengthen our state's border and provide Texans with what he called the largest state property tax in American history. Governor Abbott also weighed in saying the Texas House is the only chamber that passed a property tax cut bill that is germane to the special session that I called to provide Texans with property tax relief, adding that he looks forward to signing it when it reaches his desk. And after Abbott's statement, Patrick responded with a heated message of his own. He posted on Twitter criticizing the governor's approach to tax relief. Patrick wrote, Governor Abbott has finally shown his cards. He chooses to give homeowners 50% less of a tax cut, nearly $700 a year to give corporations more. This is not what homeowners expected when they voted for him. Earlier in the day, Patrick vowed that the Senate would not pass property tax relief without raising the homestead exemption. I will not step back from this. And I might be the last guy standing, but I'll be the last guy standing. Homeowners in this state deserve real property tax cuts. And that's a combination of compression and homestead exemptions. As top Republicans continue to feud over competing ideas for tax relief, we're taking a deeper look into the plans and what they could mean for you. Capitol reporter Ryan Chandler spoke with the governor's office and the senator behind one bill. He breaks down what it could all mean for your wallet. Rising property tax alone have become almost so unsustainable that that alone is closing their doors. Businesses, homeowners, and Texas's top leaders all agree. We want to save the taxpayers money. Cutting property taxes is priority number one. But after five months of discord and a short-lived special session, no deal. The governor can put things on the call, 
but he can't prescribe the form of the solution. Governor Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Patrick, and Speaker Phelan all brought their own ideas for how to lower taxes. On Tuesday, the House swiftly passed a plan endorsed by Governor Abbott. It's called tax rate compression. Essentially, it dedicates $17.6 billion to buy down school district tax rates, basically footing the bill for you. This is a plan that we feel like is equitable. It doesn't pick winners or losers. Our small business owners will get tax relief. Homeowners will get tax relief. Renters will get tax relief. The Senate plan has some of that, but it also pushes a $100,000 homestead exemption. That's two and a half times more than you can currently deduct from your property tax bill. This is the most powerful thing you can do as a tax writer, because if you exempt somebody from taxation, they never pay. And they never pay the next year, and they never pay the year after that. Supporters of the Abbott plan predict it will save the average homeowner $1,300 over two years. The Senate predicts Dan Patrick's plan will save them more than $2,500 in the same time. I know the governor must be on our side with this. I can't imagine he wouldn't be. I can't imagine the governor will say to 5.7 million homeowners, you're not going to get a homeowner's exemption. Ryan Chandler, State of Texas. The Senate met briefly Friday, but adjourned without taking up the plan passed by the House. That same day, Governor Abbott spoke at a forum at the Texas Public Policy Foundation. He gave his vision for cutting property taxes without mentioning Patrick's idea for higher homestead exemptions. We must go big. We must dream big, dream the possibility that we can eliminate property taxes in Texas. You got to dream it and then you got to do it. And so what I say we do is we use that $17 billion to drive down your property tax rates. If we do that, that will cut your property tax rate for school MNO by 29%. That will put us on a pathway where in the ensuing sessions, we will be able to get to zero for your property tax rate for your school district property taxes. Abbott did not directly address the criticism from the Lieutenant Governor. However, he did praise Patrick for his previous work on property tax relief. Two of the biggest names in Texas law are joining the team that's prosecuting Ken Paxton. And I'll promise you, it's 10 times worse than has been public. What we're learning about the impeachment plan and the high-powered lawyers tapped to lead the prosecution. And from public safety to protecting your pets, we look at how our investigations helped lead to action at the Capitol and will soon become law.